quick update. A few things I want to show what I've done since last time. You can see here I have the steering servo tray completed. It's just an old battery tray that I had laying around. Uh, you can see the slots in the battery tray because it was for the, the old round uh, cells pre-lipo days. So all I had to do was just cut out one of these slots to make room for the servo and those four holes to mount the servo. And in addition to that, just drill four holes to mount it to the wires. And I use these four cable clamps underneath here, in addition to two up above to tie it to the, the wires. So it's, it's all constrained and it's not going anywhere. On the back, I made a couple changes also. I have the shocks in a more of a lay down position. That allows more travel back here. How I had it before, I had the shocks basically mounted from here going up here, but the height of the, the 1 16th scale shocks basically preloaded the wires like this. So I only had that amount of travel, but now I have I guess you call it up travel. Another thing I did do also was I added these pieces right here. Uh, these are just more cable clamps. Two cable clamps on this side bolted together and the two on this side. And what this does is it allows me to adjust how stiff the wires are back here. For instance, if I slide those back like so, it's a lot stiffer as opposed to if I slide them all the way forward, then the spring rate is a lot softer. I'm getting pretty close uh, to this project being completed. So, until next time, later. One other thing to mention, this bug body right here, I'm not gonna be using for this build. Instead, I'll be using this 